Okay, to start things off, I literally had to grind for some wep- for some energy. Because for whatever baffling reason, even after loading my save, when I recall that, you know, I actually filled up my sub tanks, it just didn't carry over for some reason. So, I had to waste some time grinding for some more health. Just to fill up my damn sub tanks. Because, this is something I did forget to mention at the first video, by the way, but I wanted to do and try a deathless run of Mega Man X, because, quite frankly, I've been extremely familiar with the level design and game design for quite a long while now that I've recently started playing some Mega Man X on the Super Nintendo. Well, at least in the case of the Super Nintendo Classic, anyhow. So, my idea is that I want to take things nice and slowly here, which I know is not what the game design intends you to do, but you are able to take it slowly for the sake of doing a no deathless run. Though, I will advise, it does get tedious after a while since you have to grind for weapon energy every now and then. And health as well. I keep saying weapon energy and I don't know why. But, yeah, this is basically our goal for this entire playthrough of Mega Man X. Can we do a full-on deathless run? of the Super Nintendo original. I have a feeling it might not necessarily be possible for Mega Man X6 and X X3 to some extent. I mean, I've been, it, it may be possible. Who knows? I could, maybe we can have some very unluck, maybe bad luck might be, be right around the corner and we might just end up getting our asses handed to us like a, like a pile of bricks. I'm sorry, pile of bricks? What the hell am I saying? Like a donkey being abused by his owner. Yeah, that's better. I do not condone the abuse of animals, by the way, so please do not take that out of context. Except all these, however. These, these are not real animals. They're just, they're just props. Don't worry. <laughs> Okay. Heart tank right there. And it's a good thing we got the arm parts too, because we can do this. I just really like how the platform is chill penguin. But yeah, we've got our first heart tank, I guess, I think. I don't remember if I... Wait, the first one I got was in Chill Penguin stage. Never mind. So this is the second one we got. And I think there's a total of at least, like, uh, five or six? I'm not so sure, but there might be... There might possibly... It's possibly around five or six. And I think we have enough health to suffice the fact that... To be able to take on uh, Boomer Q-Wanger... Yeah, that should be good. And especially accommodating for the sub tanks that I just filled up. Off screen anyway. Fuck. Wait. What am I even doing? I could just wall jump. Alright. Well, of the bosses and doing the least backtracking run, this one is kind of the hardest. Because this AI design... It really is a bit randomized. Especially since he does this teleportation move, like, almost all the time. And it's kind of annoying. Ah! I call this the pussy strat. Just cling to the wall and you'll be set. You're all good to go. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Can you stop teleporting? Since when do Q-Wangers have the ability to teleport anyhow? I just don't get that. Oh, wait. Never mind. I'm sorry. He's supposed to be that of a stag beetle. Although, admittedly, he kind of doesn't look like one. I guess the head crest is supposed to be the, um... It's supposed to be the horns. And maybe I'm just not seeing something, but I have no idea. Anyway, I got an achievement for using the Pink Blaster on a boss. Well, more so defeating a boss with the Pink Blaster. Which is cool, because... Well, it's just for bracket rights. <laughs> so yeah, we got the most awesome weapon in the game, the Boomer. The Boomerang Cutter. Which is essentially the, uh... Which is essentially the, uh, shit, what was it called? The Rolling Cutter? Yeah, the Rolling Cutter from Mega Man 1. Except, unlike in that game, you actually keep some of the ammo that comes back to you. Which is actually a really cool detail. Yeah, in my eyes, this is probably the most balanced set of weapons in the entire series. And it's right here where we can get yet another awesome little secret. Yeah, I'm just sitting here spam-fucking my attacks. It's... It's kind of a pain in the ass, however. I'm literally holding down on the D-pad, and for whatever reason, I can't really seem to, like... Yeah, there we go. I don't know. From my experience, it, it seems to happen. It seems possible to be able to move it downwards whenever you're moving forward. I I don't really know how it really works. Does anybody know how it really works? Because I just can't figure it out for the life of me. Holy shit, that was too close. And it's a good thing that we defeated Storm Eagle before coming here, because there's this mini-boss right here. Who admittedly would have been a bit of a pain in the ass if we hadn't, you know, destroyed his thingamajig. Is there shit. Not to mention, the Storm Tornado literally breaks this boss in half. And I literally just got a life. I now have five lives. Yeah, two that I got from off-camera and one from a mini-boss of all things. I've never seen that happen, actually. These guys I really like. <laughs> Just look at that. If you use a charge shot on them, they'll literally just be skidding all over the place like, Oh man. Uh. Hey man, not cool. I don't know what to do. <laughs> These enemies are kind of... Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'll end your misery. Right here. Right now. Because you're literally in my way. And I don't really want that. They're literally just like those Roadrunner guys from uh, Mega Man 7. Except they actually charge at you full speed ahead. Oh. Now that smart tank's a bit of a pain in the ass. Hey, not cool, man. What you fucking up my driving for? I gotta go get a repair soon. Seriously, that's so funny. The 
Thankfully, for the rest of our journey, we don't have to worry about any more backtracking. Because other than having to go back to Chill Penguin stage, the least backtracking order will literally save you a lot of time if you're speedrunning this game. Assuming that you, you know, actually do speedrun this game anyhow, but I'm not a speedrunner expert, so I can't really say anything. Here we go. The one boss that is easier than pissing in the shower. I literally just stood there and fired my shotgun ice. That is how easy this boss is. Alright, saving data. And it's up to Armando uh, Matillo. Yes? Yes! Okay! Armored Armadillo. I'm gonna get an achievement by knocking off his armor. Another good grinding spot for more health. Alright, give me more health, please. I would like it if you could... I got killed, and I got stopped by an ostrich. See? See what I meant when I told you that I'm a fucking amateur at this game? Wait, why did I just destroy that? All it really matter. Oh wait, and there's a stub tank. Well, don't mind if I do. All right. Come on, X, get it. Get it. You know what that means. More grinding for health. And don't worry. If I ever do review this game for Games for Lunatics, I'm not going to base it on my Deathless run whatsoever. I'm going to try and, like, you know, find any kind of issues that I, you know, that I really think are more problematic than people point them out to be. Ouch. Heart tank! See, I'm a Mega Man X expert. No pun intended, by the way. Alright, gotta charge up. Oh, it's my favorite section in the entire luck game. Not gonna lie. That is super cool. 
All right, time to get out the spark shock. There he is, the fat boy himself. literally did shit for damage. There he goes. And of course, by knocking off the armor of armor and armadillo, I got another achievement. Not that it really means much, but I got achievements for doing things. Now it's time for lunch octopus, and then we will head on over to Stink Chameleon. I am lunch octopus. I am going to rip you to pieces. <laughs> Enjoy my shitty French accent. Well, I hope you do. I really don't know how it was possible, but Mega Man somehow made water levels fun. All right. Well, that's one mini boss down. The next one is going to be a bit problematic because we're over a bunch of spike pits now. Well, he might be a little lucky if he doesn't do that attack. Or he just to suck us and blow us away. Whoa! Come on, all right, die! <laughs> Up we go! Down into the abyss! Now for another mini boss that can be taken down very easily with the storm tornado. Beautiful, beautiful. Mm, you, we are making progress, guys. I am loving this. Hell yeah. also destroy it by the tail. But I think I've used the Storm Tornado enough times as it is, so I might as well continue on with my day. Now, Launch Octopus is not going to be a total pushover whatsoever. He really ain't. But with his weakness weapon, he shouldn't really be, you know, that much of a hitch. Now, the really cool thing about this boss is that, like, like Flame Mammoth, you can actually t tear off his, ar his arms with the, boomer with the boomerang cutter, but honestly, in this case, I really recommend you don't do that, because if you do, he'll just spam fuck his attack, his missile attack, which is just not very easy to dodge at all. 
But you know what? Just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna show it to you. Yep, that's basically what happens. He just stands there, jumps around, and like... Yeah, he basically does that for the rest of the fight. And that finishes off seven out of eight Mavericks. We've got one to go, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we are going to do this one in this video because I saved him for last for a very good reason. Of course, that reason being, well, we're going the non-backtracking order. Sting Chameleon! I am the Chameleon! Holy shit, I just found out that I could do an impression of the Chameleon from Tough Puppy. Like, what? Butch! How the fuck did you do this? I thought you were the man I couldn't look up to and all, but... Mr. Hartman! How in the hell did you... Oh. Well, whatever. And that's all the hard tanks. Okay, so I counted there's six of them. Now, to get the body parts by finding a tedious mini boss. contains a new type of body armor. It will reduce damage to your systems by 50%. That's... And that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. Body parts do only... protect you by 50%. First armor. I got the achievement first armor. You see, this is exactly why I like playing Steam games. Because I get to point out some of the achievements that I managed to achieve that I got. Even if it really doesn't mean very much, I just figured I'd point it out. Fuck. Give me some health. Sting Chameleon was being very generous to me today. There we go. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are at the lair of the one himself. Ah, it is I, the chameleon! He too is easy as a pile of piss. 
Just wow. I am the chameleon! Prepare to suffer his wrath! Don't worry, I'm not doing my Jar Jar Binks impression this time. I, I swear to you. Because that would literally be the last thing I would want to hear in a Mega Man X game. Let alone X7. Alright, and I think that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. We made great progress. Ah, hold up a moment. Finally, we found Sigma's fortress. Let's go in and put an end to this war what, against the... <laughs> Let's go in and put an end to his war against the humans. Roger that! Alright. Alright. For real, that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like this video, subscribe to my channel for some more, and... Do stay tuned for a uh, Games for Lunatics episode. I think I might have it uploaded by the time this video is uploaded, but if you haven't already, go check out my Games for U Lunatics YouTube channel. I have, I am doing that for the sole purpose of making a review series, which quite frankly is going on for, it's taking me far longer to get done than it really, than I anticipated. So, there you have it guys. In the next episode, we'll be tackling all the fortress stages, and we will hopefully finish the game within the next episode. So, I will catch you guys in the next video. Till next time, this is Lunacris signing out.